I don't know who needs to hear this, but God will reveal, remove, restore, and replace before he can take you to that next level. Always remember that. So be patient in your process because your moment is coming. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hello, Fems, and welcome back to another episode of Femininity by Rachel B. We are back. Listen, I am going to be coming with all the vibes tonight. Last week, we talked about um, all of the healing and stuff and all of the like different changes and different methods that I have been incorporating in my healing process because let's face it, healing is a ongoing thing. It doesn't matter when you start it, doesn't matter when you end. It is really an ongoing thing. Like if you think about it, it's like going to the gym, right? And once you get this amazing body, uh, you look the way you want to look, you have to maintain it. And healing is the same exact thing. You have to maintain your mental, your physical, your spiritual, all of these things need maintenance, right? So I don't want you guys to think that, oh, I'm healed. I don't have to do any more work. You always have to do work. And one of the things that I recognize about myself and other people and the people that I enjoy spending time with I enjoy having conversations with, I enjoy exchanging energy and information with, are people who are self-aware. They're self-aware, they are present, they are working on themselves, they can, you know, hold themselves accountable for when they're wrong, when they're right, or when, you know, when someone else is right, or you know, just holding yourself accountable. I, I love that. I think that is amazing. And when I see people do that, it makes me drawn to them. So last week, uh, we talked about um, all of the changes that I made as far as like business and stuff like that. And I swear my mental has been so elevated. Like my spirit is like, Y'all, I'm on a cloud. Like, seriously, I'm on a cloud. I was thinking about when you ask God for something, you may not get it the exact way that you envision it, but you do receive it at that right time, right? I've always, like, being, I love being a mom, like, I am one of those moms, like, I am very into my children, right? I have a daughter, she's 23, so obviously I can't hover over her like I used to, but my son, you know, I enjoy raising him, right? And I remember when I was pregnant, I used to all the time say to myself, I really want to be like that mom that's like always there, can go to all of the soccer games, basketball games, that can make lunch, that can like drop them off at school. I talked about this in my last podcast and I have that. It may not look like what I thought, (laughs) but I have it. Like, you know, you get married, you have this family, you think you're going to have this white picket fence. And, you know, sometimes things just... I'll say this, God has another plan for you, you know, and it's not always what you think it's going to look like. It's not going to be that perfect picture, but he will give you what you so desire. And that was one of my heart's desires is to 
be able to have the time and the schedule to really be there and present in my son's life, right? So I talked about last week, um, the last episode If you guys didn't catch it Please make sure you catch it And if you're new to the channel Please like and subscribe Like, comment, subscribe It really helps push out the content It really helps, you know Someone else that may need help Healing, growing, mindset It really will help them find this channel also So don't 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 sit there and just watch I want you guys to comment And I want you guys to like it too Please comment, like, share, whatever um, I was talking about like my routine and everything that I did to get to this point. And my routine right now is so, so, so important to me. Uh, it, it's, it's just like the air that I breathe. Right. And although I am not always motivated and I want you guys to know you're not always going to be motivated. But if you figure out a routine for yourself and stick with it and keep doing it. Anything that you want your life to look like, if you want a great body, you have to work out. If you want to eat better, you have to prepare better foods. If you want to read more, if you want to learn more, you have to read more books, take on some courses. Anything that you want to improve the health and the well-being and the quality of your life, just know that you have to work on it and it's not going to happen over the night. Overnight It's not going to happen um, in a short amount of time. Like I think a lot of times we look for quick fixes and we look for quick results and, you know, quick is not always the best thing, you know. I think about, um, you know, building relationship with people, relationships with people. And uh, I think about, you know, building this new business that I have. And I want to get to that finish line. I want everything to be perfect. And I want everything to be, you know, seamless. But it does take work. And that's just everything that we do in life. It takes work. And our healing takes work. So I was talking about. Uh, you know, my routine that I absolutely love. And I keep adding on this routine, adding on this routine, and adding on this routine, all of the things that I want to work on. I'm going to give you guys an example. Trauma, I was saying this on one of my uh, videos for Instagram that we carry a lot of trauma in our hips. I did not know this, right? I just learned this not that long ago. And... I noticed that, you know, when I get out of bed, you know, I'm a little tight in the hips or whatever. And I stretch every single day. Like I go to the gym every day. And when I'm there, when I'm working out and I'm not in Baltimore, I have to stretch in the hot yoga room. I love it. It's just something that I, I just love to do. But I noticed that I'm not as mobile as I used to do. And if you guys don't know, you, you don't know this. Um, I danced all through high school. So I'm a trained professional dancer and I lost that you know from you know becoming a hairstylist I just my path in life just went completely different and that's something that I lost and I wanted to get back to that side like when I was a teenager and I used to dance I used to do these beautiful modern dances and I was so graceful and I wanted to get back to that part of me like you guys know I'm super feminine that's what this podcast is about and I wanted to really get back to some of the things I used to really really love and I just noticed that I wasn't as mobile and I wasn't like you know as you know flexible as I used to be and that kind of made me a little sad but I was like you know what we're not gonna stay in that place Rachel you're gonna do something about it you know guys know that I am a solution-based person and I said you know let me figure out what I can do so I went to this place, it's called the Stretch Zone, and um, they stretch you out really good, and uh, it, it feels really, really nice. But I learned that women carry trauma in their hips and their lower back, and it's a stress response. So when you're stressed and your body holds on to a lot of that stuff, and you really need to release it. So I've been doing that every day that I go to the gym. I make sure that I stretch. And when I don't go to the gym, I have like a little yoga mat 
by my bed and I make sure that I'm I'm stretching because if you don't use it you'll lose it and if you don't use it you'll get even tighter and I just I just don't want that for myself another thing that I do I go to the chiropractor every single week because I'm standing on my feet I'm moving, I'm lifting weights, I'm doing all of these things. And I want to make sure that my spine is healthy. I want to make sure that I am feeling good because I remember being so stressed. Guys, I could not even move my neck. I couldn't move. And who wants to do that? Like, I felt so much tension between my neck and my shoulders. It was like, it hurt. It was, it was really bad. So do something and add on to your routine, like do something like whatever you don't like. If you don't like the extra fat, if you don't like the way your body is feeling, hey, if you don't like the way you look, do something about it. We have to do something about it. We can't sit in that mindset and complain and not put in the work you have to put in the work. I just want you guys to know that you have to put in the work. I'm sorry I wanted to make sure that that was Arnold you're gonna have to cut this so I wanted to talk to you guys about you know trauma not just body like trauma but mental trauma right I touched on it a little bit in my last podcast but I really didn't go that deep And a lot of people, a lot of adults walk around with trauma and they don't even like realize it or they don't even address it. And that was me at one point. Um, I realized, you know, from uh, getting counseling and things like that, that I have abandonment issues and I didn't know where it came from, but I feel like it came Well, I realized that it came from me losing my mom at such an early age and um, that automatically put me in a survival mode. And I really didn't even grieve her death. My mother passed away when she was when I was 20 and I just had my daughter and I don't I don't remember crying or being upset. I just remember snapping into being an adult and that carried on with me through a lot of relationships, a lot of decision make the decisions that I made. And I realized that I only always depended on me. I never really depend on people. I don't like to depend on anybody. And that has been a problem for me. But I've been working on it. Um, I want to receive, <laughs> I want to be in the soft space and continue to be in the soft space that I'm in right now, but it definitely has taken work. But in order, I realized for me to receive a certain type of energy, I have to feel like I am being led properly Communication is a really big thing for me. Um, Reassurance is a really big thing for me. Being, feeling comfortable for me to relax is a really, really important to me. And I don't know about you guys, but I find it very hard um, in this day and age to find that type of energy. But that is what I like. Right. I like to feel comfortable. I like to feel like I can relax. And that's the only way I can do it because I'm independent. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a single mother. I'm raising a young man. And, you know, all of these things have me in that way where I am like, you got to get it done. You know, you got to get it done. And a lot of times uh, we don't realize it, but we are hardened because because of this. And I hear so many women talk about this all the time. And I hear guys always say, you know, I get that's the one compliment I always get from males is um, you still have your soft side. And when people say that to me, I'd be like, is people walking around hard and upset and mad? And I have to say a lot of women are. And I do not 
blame you ladies. But this is where your self-awareness comes in, right? We know that it's a different kind of crowd out here, right? (laughs) We know that society is just different. And it's, I don't want to just say it's males, it's males and females, right? I was telling my girlfriend the other day, I was like, I'm so sick and tired of seeing ass all day on the internet. (laughs) It's like, I can appreciate a beautiful body. I love the way men look. I love the way women look. But sometimes I'm just like, I don't want to see that all day. Like, I really don't. And the same thing with men. I don't want to see men bashing women all day. It's like, as long as women aren't doing better than a male, we're good. We're in our place. But as soon as we're like popping off and we're doing better and we feeling good and extra confident and our bodies are in place and, you know, we feel like we're on top of the world, then it's like, I'm going to shoot you down. I'm going to shoot you down. Why do we got to be that way? So anyway, um, back to what I was saying, you know, I just feel like if we have self-awareness, ladies, it'll get us very far. And the best way to have self-awareness is one of the things that I do every day. I am grateful for just getting out of bed. It's something as simple as that because everyone that had plans on waking up the next day, they don't always wake up. Everyone that has plans on being healthy, the best version of themselves, that don't always happen. So that's something that I do every single day that I wake up. I just say, Lord, I am just so grateful for another day. Like, seriously, I am grateful for another day. I'm dropping my son off at school. I'm on my way to the gym. I'm just looking at my pathway on the way to the gym. And I ride through our area called Golden Beach. And Golden Beach is so beautiful. It has the most beautiful houses. The landscaping is so amazing. It's just clean. The palm trees are just at their most highest. They look just amazing and beautiful. The sky is just so so nice and clear and I just have to be grateful like I may not have everything that I want in my life right now and in this lifetime I may not get everything that I want in this lifetime I'm damn sure going to try I am going to try my best to have everything that I want and everything that my heart desires I'm going to work hard every day hard but a soft life hard (laughs) um I'm going to work towards the things that I want so that I can rest my eyes when it's time for me to rest my eyes internally um, to have everything that I want. But I'm okay if I don't. I am. I have made peace with that. I'm completely okay if that doesn't happen for me. But that's one mindset that I can tell you ladies to make sure you carry. Every day be grateful. Be grateful that you have a job. Be grateful that you have a roof over your head. Be grateful that you have a friend to talk to. Be grateful that you have clothes on your back. Be grateful that you have your edges. (laughs) You know, just be grateful for things that some, the next person may not have. Um, I think that we take a lot of things for granted. And we're so busy comparing and looking to the next that we stop. We don't take time to stop and think about what we do have and appreciate the people that we have in our lives, appreciate the things that we have in our lives, appreciate our accomplishments. I remember like maybe like last year, I would be like thinking about my accomplishments and not thinking it was that big of a deal. But my accomplishments is a big damn deal. I started a business at 26. Uh, I was able to maintain that business for 18 years. I raised a daughter, an amazing daughter, all by myself. With the help, I had some help (laughs) for a little bit while I was married. But 
I look at her and I'm like, she's amazing. She's a beautiful woman that is still learning and I'm still able to help her and give her the tools that she needs. And I am grateful for that. That's an accomplishment of mine. I have a beautiful son that I'm able to, you know, have him go to an, an amazing school. I'm He's able to be in a very safe, progressive environment. These are things that I am very happy and grateful to God for. So I don't stay in that space where I'm like, oh, my God, I don't have this or I don't have that. Or, you know, I want to share my life with someone. Of course I do. I want to share my life with someone one day. But if it's not here, it's not here. And I'm just going to be grateful for where I am right now. And, you know, another thing, ladies, is I think not staying in that sad space. I think it's so easy for us to be upset. And carry that all day. You get one day to be upset. Just one. Just one day. Okay. Be upset. Be sad. Get over it. You have to. You have to. We live every single day. And every single day we should be appreciative. We should be smiling. We're women. I know Some circumstances, some people have it different. Some people have it harder. But I guarantee you, if you try your best to have a positive mindset and become more solution based instead of complaining about what you don't have or complaining about what it's like or what a situation is like. Listen, y'all, if I told y'all some of the stuff that I've dealt with in my lifetime and I sit and think about, dang, like, I gave that person a lot of my years. I know some of y'all think like, (laughs) I gave that person a lot of my little youthful years, but I still have a lot of youthful years left, you know? And, you know, just being more intentional about your happiness. And you know what else I had to do, ladies? I had to really pay attention to who I gave my energy to and what I gave my energy to. I listen to my body so much now and I never realized that that anxiety feeling that we get, like I hear people say this a lot, my anxiety is up, my anxiety is up. Something is doing that. Something is doing it and we can control it. I had a couple of friends No, I I may have one or two friends. And whenever I was around them, my nerves would get like bad. Like I would like tense up. And once I stopped talking to them, it went away. I pay attention to my body. I pay attention to um, the way I feel when someone is talking to me. Even when you're talking to someone new, like you ever do this, like, You start dating somebody and something is off and it makes your nervous system become unregulated. Whenever that happens, stop. I don't care how much you like the person. I don't care how you how you may have felt in the beginning when someone throws your nervous system off, it's, it's saying to you, like, you got to protect yourself. It's saying that this is this does not feel good. And you're getting ready to throw yourself in survival mode. So when I hear people say things like anxiety, oh, this is giving me anxiety, this is giving me anxiety, just stop. Whatever it is. A job, if the job is giving you anxiety, is it worth it? You got to find another job. <laughs> Every time someone calls you with their issues or their problems or, you know, they come and they want to dump on you and they're making you have that feeling of anxiety, stop. Also, that's a boundary, right? Remember we talked about that, poor having poor boundaries and it's something that I basically had to work on. That is a boundary. Like someone isn't supposed, no one is supposed to be able to just dump, dump, dump dump their problems on you like that's just just not okay and it's about having self-awareness everybody is not aware that they're doing it 
But it's not okay. It's not okay to do that. So just, you know, just being self-aware and just paying attention to your body and like your intuition, ladies, your intuition don't never lie to you. Your intuition don't never lie to you. You know what I learned about people? People will tell you everything that you need to know about them if you just pay attention to their actions. People say this all the time, like actions speak louder than words, and they really, truly do. I don't listen enough and nobody say. Like, I used to. Like, oh, I'm going to take that word forward. Mm-mm. I don't do that no more. I listen to your actions. I listen by paying attention to your actions because your actions is going to tell me everything, every single thing. You ever... This is so funny, right? I was telling one of my girlfriends this, like we were talking and she was like, um, she was dating this guy or whatever. And the guy was in such a rush, like in such a rush, like when we going out to eat, when we going out to drinks, when we doing this, when we doing it. And I was like, girl, I don't know if I like that for you. And I explained to her that a lot of times that is a form when someone is rushing to get to the end result, that is a form of manipulation. When someone is trying to control how an outcome and how something is going to be. And I didn't like that. And I told her to pay attention to that. We talked about it like a couple of weeks later. She was like, you are right. She was like, they were a train wreck. And they didn't want me to find out that they was a train wreck. So they wanted to hurry up and get to the finish line before I, you know, realized that they were a hot ass mess. And she was like, thank you, friend, for pointing that out to me. And it's just something that I had to learn to really do is to pay attention to a person's actions. They will tell you everything. They will tell you if they lying. They will tell you if. You know, they don't have it all together. They will tell you if, you know, what their intentions are. All you got to do is pay attention to somebody's actions. And when someone's actions does not feel good to you, and it makes you feel like that anxious feeling back all the way off. It is a red flag. It is trying to show you something. It's trying to tell you something. And not not all the time that, that does that mean that someone is a bad person or anything like that. It just means right then and there is not a good time. It's not a good moment for you to exchange energies with that person. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Because sometimes I say things and it, it kind of, it goes like <laughs> over sometimes some people hate, but I, I think you guys got, I think I explained that pretty well but pay attention to people's actions like I have been doing that so much like I am very quiet like I observe so much now I'm I'm very 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 quiet I don't say too much when I'm around people but oh baby I am paying very very close attention I'm paying very close into close attention to what you do how you respond, but less on what you say. It's more about the actions. So ladies, I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. Uh, I'm not going to make them too long because I want you guys to be excited about the next one. I can't give you guys all of the good juices right away. I just can't. So remember, this is a series about healing your mind, body, and your soul. If you know someone that can use a good podcast about mindset, healing, being in your feminine energy, commanding your feminine aura to be amazing, share the podcast with them. I would so appreciate it. And I just want to thank you ladies for being here in this space with me that I have created for you and for me. And that is going to be the end. Make sure you don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe until the next time, ladies. Thank you for joining me tonight.